Hey guys, Pim Master. I'm here with Vato. And we are, we are showing you the new and improved old school Kaji Kempo Tiger Claw. Wow, you're bringing it back, Kaji Kempo. I'm bringing the ta Kaji Kempo Tiger Claw. I'm bringing back a lot of their techniques and I'm 2.0ing them, okay? Now, when I was a kid, we were doing Tiger Claws from the horse stance. We were doing it from a fighting stance. Both hands, we're doing it all the time. And I, I thought it was just a poke. They were, when I was learning it, it was just an eye poke, but I didn't understand why you came up with the heel of the hand this way. And in reality, I think that's a great strike because it's a, it's a heel, heel hand strike, right? And it drives forward, hit him right at the nose or the jaw. But what I really like about it is, as soon as you hit it, you go to this mode and you rake your hands down, the fingertips down to hit, you know, touch their eyeballs. Once you touch someone's eyeball in a fight, you don't have to poke it really hard. You just gotta graze their eye. You can try it right now. Okay, watch. Oh, oh wow. wow. So you see, hitting them with blunt force, and you get them in the eye. And you rake them, and you rake them. All you gotta do in a fight, you don't have to go that hard, right? As you can see, all you gotta do is touch somebody's eyeball, and they're gonna respond, withdraw, right? And it gives you options. You can run, you can pull your weapon out and kill them, you can, you can finish the attack to make sure that they are not a threat anymore, okay? So that's what you can do when somebody's going like that because you touch their eyeballs. So the main part of this is just raking down and trying to touch their eyeballs, okay? So it comes up and comes down. Now the tiger claw, you have to be a little closer because it's not really effective that far, all right? You're a little closer, you recoil right here, pop, right here, and then you drag down, all right? Now, I'm gonna give you the 2.0 for that. Here you go, out from here. You see this working all the time, in real time, in the UFC. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's probably half the time, it's not even on purpose, okay? But you can tell how much it hurts because these are incredibly, incredibly tough athletes, but as soon as they get touch in their eye, they drop with pain and, and, and fear. Because it's scary. when someone touches your eye like that, it's scary that you might go blind. So it's a great technique with more distance. The tire claws in close, that's the old school. Boom, boom, right? And even if you don't get them with, a, with the, eye, eye, the eye rake, this hits them, boom, it could knock them back that way, right? But you're, you're basically going bing, bing. With the, with the finger poke, you're just sticking it out. Your four fingers are about evenly spread apart, right? And you're, they're slightly bent, because you're never gonna hurt your fingers when you're doing this. You don't wanna stick them out straight. They're slightly bent, and you're just touching their eye. And it's just like a jab. Keep it up, pop, 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 pop. So it's a finger, it's like, it's like, it's a finger poke, basically. And it, to me, it's taken over the tiger claw, even though the tiger claw, there is still a time out of the place for it, but the tiger claw, I call a weapon of opportunity. Mm. I think it's an opportunistic weapon. In other words, when you're fighting, you're not gonna come out with a tiger claw. But if somebody's just in the right angle and you're just in the perfect place, you can maybe do a tiger claw. But you can't from most angles. You can, which is a primary weapon, not a weapon of opportunity, but the finger poke is a primary weapon. It's something you can use as soon as your guy's hands come up, you can start doing finger pokes. So, this is more preemptive, right? That would be more preemptive, but it has to be opportunistic. You like have to be... Like before, you're kind of in that zone where you don't really know what's gonna happen. Yeah. Like no, a surprise kind of deal, or? It, it is the end of an element of surprise, but you have to have perfect, you have to be in a perfect position at a perfect distance to do the tire claw. You can't do it out here, okay? But you can do a fight finger poke. So when, when I find a weapon, when I find a weapon, like a grind kick, there's a time and a place, but it's a weapon of opportunity. Like when the fight starts, I don't go try, trying to hit the groin because it's not an accessible target. 
like say a G I'm hitting the chin, that's the primary weapon. But anyway, finger poke, tiger claw, from the old to the new, okay? Kajakempo, new age Kajakempo. Boom. Thanks for coming, guys. Good video. All right.